Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my very first Let's Play and I'm hoping that y'all are going to enjoy this series enough for me to make more Let's Plays in the future. So what I thought we would start with today is creating one outfit with the new clothing items for my sim. And who we have on screen here today is myself, obviously. And my name is Bree, if you didn't know that. And I will be mostly the main character. This is my husband, Raphael. And my two daughters, Junie and Ellie, who are twins. We also have a dog, Mac. He did just pass away, sadly. I added him to the family because we love him and didn't want to lose him. I also have this little guy in person. I am a dog mom. So let's hop right in and see what type of new clothing we get. Oh, and it looks like we get a good amount so far of clothing. I really like this shirt, especially the pattern, but to me it doesn't really speak jungle or adventure I was kind of thinking this shirt but I thought why not just go and take a look at the full body I like to wear more full body than two piece outfits oh and it looks like we get two new dresses one more classy and one jungle type dress and I really like this dress it's really cute I might might keep this so we gotta change her shoes because what woman is gonna go in the jungle with heels you would have to be insane to adventure in heels so we get these new boots which I'm really digging and they go perfect with this outfit now I'm not going to change any of my Sims hairs, I'm going to keep them all the same. Let's see what type of hats we get, even though I am not going to have my Sims wear hats. I don't really mess with the hats too often, I'm not one that likes to have my Sims in hats. But this hat, if I were to pick one, goes great. Modeling my Sims, I think I'm going to have her in this outfit. Now let's see what the males get for their new clothing. What I'm doing now is trying to decide which outfit I like the least. And right now, for the everyday outfits, I do have my sense in winter clothes just because it's winter here. So I thought, why not put my sense in winter clothing? Good amount of shirts I like. I really like this shirt because it's calling my name, especially this medium blue. Just, I don't know, it just looks perfect on him. So I stuck with it. Next, we are going to see what type of pants we get. Maybe change his pants. Hopefully we get some type of jungle bottoms. Ooh, I really enjoy these 
rolled up jeans, even though they don't really say jungle. Ooh, now these pants are great. It goes great with the shirt. It's jungle attire. I am very picky when it comes to clothing. I like I like to have the outfits perfect, um, correlated, and obviously, I was not feeling the colors of these pants. I couldn't decide. Nothing really seemed to be working in my opinion so I just went back to the brown pants which I like the most we are also going to change his shoes into the same boots and his outfit is very nice and done now let's move on to my girls now my girls are going to be wearing the same outfit just a different color and obviously hers is going to be purple and I thought why not put my girls in this button-up crop top type shirt because what teenager nowadays doesn't wear something like that and it just spoke teenager to me so I decided to put my girls in it and this purple was like a dirty washed out purple I wish it was more vibrant or at least darker because when it comes to these pants I really enjoy these pants and I really like the color choices especially the pocket design of these pants which are really great but nothing really went with this shirt and I didn't want to change the color because I have my girls in all of the same colors for her all her outfits are purple and I wanted something to go with this shirt, but these pants were just not doing it for me. None of the colors were working, and I really wanted her in these pants because they looked great on her. And if I had them in real life, I would wear them myself. So I was digging this color, even though it didn't really, especially the design colors in the pocket didn't really go I was debating whether or not the pants were working for me I was also debating what type of color shoes like I said I like to have my outfits correlated so I decided to go in and maybe change shirt hmm. but nothing was really working so I decided to just go back to that button-up shirt which as I said before screamed teenage vibe to me and I think looked the best on my child And like I said, the pants were driving me crazy, debating whether I liked them or not, I could not decide. Then I tried the shorts, but mm -hmm. the colors that I liked, the belts weren't working with the top. These are really cute shorts in my opinion. And if the shirt was different, I think maybe it could have worked. I did almost decide to be brown, but then something just, I don't know, it didn't look right with the shirt. 
And so I went back to the pants. <laughs> Tried some different pants on, but they didn't look right with the shirt either. And I wanted her to wear the shirt, so I went back to the jeans. And I also changed her shoes. Because the black just didn't fit. Now, for her sister, since I already spent a long time debating on the pants, I just put her in all the same outfit, changed her shirt to pink, obviously. So it was quite easy picking her outfit, as you can see. Now, sadly, I wish they did give something for your pets to wear since you can bring your companion on the adventure with you, but it was all good. So now that my family is all dressed, let's get this vacation started. So, I may have accidentally sent myself home. As you can see, my family members are not here. They are actually already on vacation. As I was exploring this game, I accidentally sent myself home. Silly me. <laughs> but since we are here, you get a new feature on your phone and now you can travel on a vacation and after you choose to go on vacation you then choose how many people you would like to go on your vacation you can bring your companions with you mm -hmm. and once you decide you're going on vacation you then pick where you would like to stay obviously i already have my home but you pick out of four houses where you would like to stay and how many days you can stay up to seven days i believe i only chose four so once you make it to your vacation home you will get this message that pops up that tells you that you have new items in your inventory and when you come with more than one person it is going to let you know who has those items in their inventory the first thing i want to show you is this property that i am vacationing on it's cute it's a decent size for my family not much going on downstairs let's check the upstairs and you get three bedrooms but five beds so if you have a toddler if you have some children this was kind of awkward since i have two teenage daughters i wish they could have slept together but that wasn't going to happen. So I had one of them sleep in the children's room, which I don't think they minded at all. So the inventory items you get are spider repellent. Because, you know, there's going to be a lot of bugs in the jungle. And I hate bugs. The... Next item that you get in your inventory is a lovely machete, which is going to come in handy for chopping down vines and things like that. So what I think we are going to do first, since it is pretty late, is 
go into the marketplace with my husband and see what's there, maybe mingle with some people, just see what's going on in the marketplace. So here we have the main map of Salvador. I think I just butchered that. <laughs> but this is what would pop up when you first go on your vacation. And the area that my family is staying at is the marketplace. And I'm not quite sure how to say the names, <laughs> but there are two small homes on this side then when you cross the river over to the jungle area there are a couple of other homes bigger homes that you can rent so back over to the marketplace we are going to head down there and check it out so here we are we arrive at the marketplace let's have a quick look around here we see a bar it's for some entertainment. We have this nice chess area with the fireplace. And we have this lovely dining area. Let's see if there's anything outside. And there's this beautiful sitting area under the trees. Oh, and it looks like there is a booth in which you can order drinks and food. I think we're going to have my son order something to eat. There's also these tables which will have people selling things from their inventory and selling things that you could use in the jungle like another machete some more bug repellent or just like i said things from their inventory and if somebody does come file for here and sell something we'll go and check it out so we are going to have my Sim order some food. And everything looks so yummy. What should she order? And I think we are just going to order this for the night. And for my husband, we're going to have him order some dinner as well. And I didn't want to have him eat the same thing. And of course, as soon as we got there, he closed for the night. Who would have known? But he still made our meal for us. Let's have our sim come sit and enjoy her cuisine.
And this here is telling you about the skills and things from the new experiences that you can make. Now, what I thought was funny was the food is a little spicy for my sin. And she can't really handle it. The funny part is, in real life, I can't handle spicy food either. So my sim really does relate to me in so many ways. Oh, and here is exactly what I was saying. People come and sell whatever is in their inventory. Some flowers, some fire extinguisher. Things like that. Now, since my sim is very overwhelmed by the spice, I thought we would go into the bar and have her order something to drink. So while I was ordering a drink, I noticed you could order water. So that's exactly what I ordered myself in hopes that it would make her less uncomfortable, take the heat away. Um, I'm pretty sure by the color of my husband, he is also not having it with the heat. There looks to be quite a lot of people on this vacation. I thought why not socialize with this lovely lady over here. So I had her sit down next to her and chat for a while. While she finishes her glass of water. I think they really like the music because they brought up the music quite a lot in their conversation. So as you notice, the time, it flew by very fast. I decided that it was time to call it a night and have my son head back home and get a well rested sleep for the next day. So now that we are back home, it is time to have everybody shower, get in their pajamas, and just head to bed.
Now, while my sins were showering, I thought, why not give them some privacy and see what the dog's up to. And he's in the kitchen eating a meal that's not even prepared. Well, I just hope he does not get sick from unprepared macaroni and cheese. And my sim is still very uncomfortable. She is not having it on this vacation. Hopefully, once she gets a good night's rest, she will be better by tomorrow. Let's get the girls and everyone in to bed. And like I said, I wish my girls would sleep together, but I guess one of them is going to have to sleep on a child's bed. And my dog is going crazy. My dog in real life, it does the exact same thing. He'll get hyper and just start running around and acting crazy. What a silly dog. And I am the last one up, and I really need to go to sleep because you see what time it is. It is early in the morning. So, the first day was a pretty easy day since the flight to Salvador was pretty long and exhausting. I think we are going to end episode here. If you would like to see episode two, please like and leave a comment and we'll see what episode two has in store. Oh, looks like maybe a birthday for my girls. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.